I ordered myself a Quest 3 to show you guys how it actually works and looks inside of VRChat. But before I show you that, I really want to give you a quick rundown on what the Meta Quest 3 offers. And of course, it all starts with an unboxing, right? <laughs> Boom, and then you just... And what you get out of here is you get this crazy thing that you can open. And that right here is the Quest 3. Bro, it smells so good. It smells like... It smells so new. Yeah, that's that's right here. That's the Quest uh, 3, yo. Controllers are interesting. They feel so... They feel so interesting. Okay. Headset itself, that's the headset. Looks, it's very slim. It's really slim. It's not how I expected it to be. It's really slim. And what you have here is you gotta put this up and you'll be greeted with these nice pancake lenses. And one of them is this small little package here, which is probably the the adapter, loading cable. And you know, all the, all the that we're not reading. This is like, <laughs> this is, we don't need this, but we need this. And we need these controllers. They do not come with batteries included, do they? They come with batteries included. So let's, let's try them out, let's try them out. As I finished connecting my Quest 3 to the internet and set up my play space, I instantly got into the Quest 3 market and downloaded VRChat right from the start. What I really think is absolutely amazing is the mixed reality of the Meta Quest 3. You can just simply double tap to the right side of the Quest 3 and from there you are able to see the actual room while still playing VRChat. It's amazing! Also important to mention that if you use your Quest 3 to record your screen, it usually will not look like how you actually see VRChat on the Meta Quest 3. The recordings I got out of this footage are fixed at 24 frames a second, which makes the footage and VRChat on the Quest 3 look super clunky, but I'm real with you, it really runs butter smooth and looks incredibly good on standalone. The only problem that actually annoys me is the battery, which only ranges up to two hours and it got depleted like super fast when I played VRChat. So make that what you want it to be. If you do use the Quest 3 on VRChat as standalone, meaning no PC and or AirLink, then you're only able to actually use Quest compatible avatars and visit Quest compatible worlds. Also, let me show you a comparison between the Quest 3 standalone performance in a full VRChat lobby and a Quest 3 using AirLink to my PC in a full VRChat lobby. The differences are still obvious, but I think the Quest 3 really does a great job when working as a standalone headset. The textures are almost the same and the lighting also looks very similar to its PC Link counterpart. But honestly, when using the Quest 3 for VRChat, I really do think it's a huge difference to what you're actually seeing through the lenses of the Quest 2. The textures have much more detail, the lighting looks more, may I say, realistic. <laughs> Everything looks so much cleaner and runs super smooth. I'm really impressed by it. And just like with the Quest 2, you can connect the Quest 3 to your PC via AirLink and or PC Link in case if you do want to use the Quest 3 as your main PC VR headset. I'm not gonna add all the specs in here since I'm pretty sure that you guys already know about the specifications, but this video is just to show you how the Quest 3 actually runs on VRChat and to summarize my experience using the Quest 3 in one word, it would be smooth. Overall, the MetaQuest 3 works really well on VRChat with standalone and PC Link. I'm not able to show you precise footage of how the Quest 3 actually works on VRChat via standalone, since Meta's record software isn't really a gem to use. But I can tell you from my own perspective and experience that if you do plan on getting a Quest 3 for VRChat and all of social games, then go ahead and buy it, since it really is a performance boost compared to the Quest 2. And I'll be honest, I did have some stutter in lobbies that included over 60 people and more but you also experience the same on PC VR, so my guess is that this is a performance problem on VRChat's end. And that's all I wanted to show you. Now do me a favor and subscribe to this channel cause look, it's free, it only takes two seconds and you'll get notified for new and upcoming VRChat and VR content. And also thanks to my Ko-Fi members Artemis, Vifslex and Gingar Yoshi for helping this channel financially. If you also want your name at the end then go ahead and check out my Ko-Fi, the link is down in the description and really worth giving it a look. And as always, take care in the virtual as well as in reality. Ciao ciao!